Hello, today I am going to show you how to use this HAO2RA ArtNet controller. I have connected them all together. This is the controller. This is the power supply and it's a 12 volt DC 12 volt output power supply. And this is the LED strip. The chip model is WS2811. Uh, and uh, 20 pixels one meter. The red cable is 12 volt positive, and the white cable is 12 volt negative. And the green one is data, and the white one is GND. You can see the words on the metal shell, the GND and data. Okay, now we go back to the computer. So the first step is uh, set the IP address. Here, this is a local network Connection. Okay, right a click and uh, property, and we choose this one IPv4. Double click, and uh, this is the IP address I set for this computer. Okay, so the controller and this computer has been connected while uh by the network cable, so they are in the same local network connection, right? And then next, we need to open this uh, H802RA setting software, and we set this language to English. Okay, this is the controller. You can see the IP address of the controller is uh... Okay, so this is the IP address of the computer and this is the IP address of the, sorry, this is the IP address. This is the IP address of the computer. And this is the IP address of the controller. The first three bytes are the same. And the last byte is different. This is a one and uh, this is the 11. Okay. The slave number is to set how many controllers are connected together. Now we only have one controller, so it should be one. And the IC type is to set the chip model of the LED strip. Okay, for my strip is WS2811. Uh, so we need to choose the TM1812. Okay, uh, if you have other chips like WS2812 uh, or 13 or uh, 15 or UCS1903 or some other chips, you can also, no, we must choose the TM1812 for some DMX chips for example TM512 or UCS512 we need to choose DMX512 here Okay, for other chips, you can see there are many chips here. 
Okay. The start universe is to set the start universe of each part. Okay. Remember for each part the start universe. The channel length here is to set the channel length of each part too. You can see there are many options here. Uh, this one means each part outputs one universe. Okay, this means two universes, three universes, four universes, five universes, and six universes, which means each part of the controller output max six universes. Okay, and remember from here to here is for the RGB fixtures. And from here to here means uh, and uh, from here to here are for the RGBW fixtures. Okay. Slave number just to choose auto. And this is the name of the controller and this is the version of the controller. And the last step, we click save to controller. Okay, next, we open matrix software. Okay, this is our matrix software. And uh, the first step we need to uh, click the device manager and uh, we click the artnet and uh, remember to enable them all. And here, art sync. Then we click on search for devices. Here we can see there are 24 universes in total. Okay, next we click on DMX devices and press Ctrl A on the keyboard to choose them all. Then we click on Enable and send full frames, then Apply. Then click, we click on OK. And at this moment, you can see the green light and the red light on controller. They are both flashing. OK, this is important. You can check the controller status by the two lights. Next, we click on the patch editor. And we click new. Then we click on add. Protocol, just to choose DMX and the product. We choose RGB first. And count. Uh, in this example, I have a five meters strip, and uh, one meter has uh, twenty pixels. So five meters is uh, one hundred pixels. So I enter one hundred and this position one DMS star universe. 
add and then I want to add 100 pixels to the second part okay controller has four parts yes, the first part has 100 pixels now I want to add 100 pixels to the second part here y is 2 and dmx start universe this is important uh, as I have introduced to you before one part outputs max six universes okay so um, here you can see you can see the channel lens channel lens this means one port outputs six universes so here the dmx star universe should be seven right because now i want to add 100 pixels to the second part so the star universe should be seven and the dms start channel should be one next for the third part okay the dmx start universe should be 13 right and it's first fourth part the start universe should be 19 Okay, here we are. Then we click the metric, matrix settings. Okay. I choose red, but now you can see the strip displays blue okay i choose red oh sorry i choose green a matrix but the dis the strip displays red i choose blue on software but the strip is green so the right color order is blue red and green Okay, finally, we have 400 pixels and each part controls 100 pixels. Now let's make a test. Red, green, and blue. Okay, this is correct. Let's make an, an, uh, another effect.
OK. This is the end of this video. If you have any questions, please send me a message. OK. Thank you very much.